school students are back. See how they're all doing in secondary school. I'm not your dude, Darren, you call me sir. It's a big deal, full of challenges. <laughs> What are you doing? Fun and friendships. Welcome to our school. When you start at our school, you get a brand new uniform. your tie. You don't have one, right? We're gonna have to go and see Miss Sinclair and get one then. School uniform's not optional. Go on. Love it or hate it, it's something that brings students together. school, we realize that everyone's unique. So we allow our students their own personal touches. We all wear the same uniform, but there's like so much to stand out. So like the hairstyle, the bow, the shoes, the jacket, and the nails. <laughs> Whether it's Kenzie's bow or Dylan's badges, they're all ways of expressing who they are. We have a lot of different clubs in our school.
A brand new one is starting. Fashion Club. Oh, God. It sounds like it's just going to sit there talking about fashion. Well, Amy, it might not be what you think. Right. You've got a big challenge ahead. Thank you for coming. So you're here to be part of the fabulous S1 fashion show. Miss Spears and Miss McCutcheson have invited students with a passion for fashion to stage our school's very first fashion show in just five weeks' time. They're going to be doing everything from modelling to music to hair and makeup to designing the uniform, the costumes, etc. There's a huge amount of work to do, but luckily, lots of students have agreed to spend their lunch times and stay after school to get involved. I look like a parrot. First year's doing a fashion show, so let's see what you're made of first year's and what you're going to come up with. Some will be designing a brand new sports kit. Others will give their teachers a makeover. Oh, that's actually quite like But first, Miss Spears wants one group to restyle the school uniform. We've got two pinnifers, so each team can have a pinnifer each. They are free to do what they want. But then the students would be happy to wear. So it might be that you decide we want to put a wee trim of the tie around the pocket. I was going to put glitter. Oh, Would everyone want to wear glitter though? No. Think about it being something that everyone would want to wear. We can get a wee bit of glitter here, just a wee tiny bit. A bit of glitter there, a wee bit of glitter there. Oh, sorry. Kenzie, you've got to do me. Sorry. <laughs> Kenzie's gone blind-tastic. We've got diamantes everywhere. She's a glitter lady. I'm not standing too close, she might glitter me. on track It's not just a 
are students who have to look smart. I think it's important to dress well. I like to dress smart. So what do the students think about the way the teachers dress? The old fashioned looking. They were like khaki green colours and they were like stuff that doesn't even match. Like, oh. oh. Some teachers dress really, really badly. They can just come in or whatever they want. They can I know. come in in jeans and a top if they want. They could come in with like a vest and their boxers or something. <laughs> I don't think teachers really have a choice in what they wear either. If the teacher saw them coming in in a t-shirt and jeans, she'd probably just be like, you're fired. I feel Mr. Nickel dresses like 10 years older than he really is. <laughs> and his fashion sense is terrible. He wears the same thing to school every single day. Jamie, I definitely... Okay, maybe I do. Students think they can dress a teacher better? Oh, that's an income. Miss Spears is putting them to the test, letting them loose to shop for some new looks to transform our teacher's style. Working in pairs, they will choose clothes they think a teacher should wear in school. You're going to pick an outfit that you think would be to model down the runway. Remember, it's a team effort, so listen to each other, both come up with ideas. Good to go, guys. is paired with Leon. It was fun because I had to go shopping. Do you think that's quite nice? Me shopping. Kenzie loved it. She was like, oh my gosh, look at that jacket. Yeah, that's nice. Mm -hmm. I'm so Yeah, I think that star one, because it kind of matches with baby. And Theo is paired with Georgia. Oh, what are these? These are... Yeah. And they go together. They match. Yeah, that's... This is nice! This is jumper when you're wearing this Julie thing. You can't have like a jumper and a Julie. Looks like our teams are taking this challenge very seriously. No, no, not like that. No. Hell no, I think it is very off colour and I don't like it. I up for Leon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Just think about like, a dangerous spot. He was like cutting dinosaur stuff, and I'm like, no! I think Kenzie and Leon have different tastes. Yeah, I don't like dinosaur stuff. Put that back. Dinosaur stuff is just horrible. I've been eating so early, but. Let's hope these two agree on something before the big night. You can hold that. Come on, what I'm really Yeah, we can get some, you know, this necklace generally. With the fashion show fast approaching. Perfect. All yeah. sorted. The designs are coming together. Tomorrow, the assembly hall will be transformed into a catwalk. Think Paris, think Milan, okay? And you're going to walk the catwalk. But our students don't know the first thing about being a model. So, Mrs McCutcheson has invited a very special guest to help a model to teach you how to walk the catwalk properly. Yes. Now, this guy comes from Govan Hill just down the road. Oh. He has been on the cover of Vogue. What? He has modelled for Prada. And he is here today to teach you how to walk the catwalk. Can you give a massive clap, please, for Conan Yo! <laughs> Conan Yo is one of Scotland's most famous models. He was first spotted on the streets of Glasgow. Since then, he's been on the cover of nearly every top fashion magazine. And has modelled 
even has over 15,000 Instagram followers. Any questions that you want to ask him? How much do you get paid? <laughs> mom wants me. I can even know. My mom wants me to. My mom wants me to as well. Uh, how long have you been modeling for? Uh, since I was 17. I'm 19 now. Can you get a selfie? If you want, if you want, mate. Connor's the most famous model in the UK, and I've got a selfie as well, so it's pretty cool. Are you ready? Straight up, chest out. has one final fashion challenge for the students. Yep, pick up my head. Together a reel of clothes from charity shops. Oh, yay! And she's only spent £50 on the lot. Right, so, huh? I'm going to the with you. Oh, no, not a easy tiger. She wants to get students thinking that it's not famous brands that give you an identity. Each student must put look from the clothes on the reel. like an explosion in a fabric factory. I took one look at them and I thought, this is going to be so hard. Look at that, look at that. When you think about charity shops, you kind of think, oh, people going yeah. into it buying antiques that they'll never look at. I look good, yeah. You're rocking that jacket, Theo. Oh. That looks cool. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Oh my gosh, this is so fruity, I love it. Oh, that one's You're fantabulous. I look like this. I can't wait to see what everyone's pieced together. Right, what up? All the shopping and all of the posing has led to the day of the Our School Fashion Show. As friends and families take their seats for our models and design, the nerves are building. There's like a hundred people in there. I'm scared. My dad's out there. Yeah. Guess what? Everyone's like standing at me. I don't want to be laughed at. On stage, everybody was like, oh, I'm nervous. How many people's there? It's okay. It's not going to be fine. It's not going to be fine. I think as soon as people like, came off that, like, So we want big smiles, we want proper attitude strutting down that catwalk. We ready? One, two, three, go! Outfits ready, here in place. Make up on. It's time for the show. Thank you. 
got your stuff, Kenzie. I knew she'd keep that glitter theme. I reckon she's done a great job. I love when we walk down the catwalk and, like, everybody was there all my family and parents and all that. So it was just amazing. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> I am loving the new uniform, but I'm not sure everyone at our school would enjoy wearing them. My school uniform had diamond They actually at the new school. And finally, James, sporting a rather filling down by the girls. Complete with pen detailing. I loved the new rugby kit that was designed. I loved the jacket that Theo had on. I thought it was really, really cool. If I got a bit bigger, I would have probably taken it off him and wore it myself. We were backstage and Alfie was Alfie. <laughs> he ripped his shorts on a nail. The students own the catwalk, but now it's our turn. Miss Guru and me. We've been made over by Kenzie and Leon, who finally came to an agreement. I love to wear a hoodie again. I never wear a hoodie. Next, Mrs. Barton and Mr. Rennick, styled by Georgia and Theo. I think I got that was really terrified, but Georgia and Theo promised that they would look after me, and uh, they certainly did. Good to see you out of trackies for once, Mr. Rennick. To be honest, I wasn't too happy about it, but I thought it was a bit plain. I was looking for something a bit more jazzy. Now for the outfits the students put together on the reel. Theo looks like he's in a boy band. Frannick looks amazing. Frannick stole the show because his is like a completely different like, style, I guess. The outfit I put together says that I'm awful at fashion. Um, which you are. Sometimes possibly we underestimate what S1 can do because you're the youngest. But actually, given the opportunity to do some of these things, they, to they totally take them and run with them. Well, yes. Here at our school, everyone has their own style, and it's all part of what makes you who you are. Right, everyone do your best model powder! Next time, we're on a trip! Here we come, Edinburgh! Use the blood of my enemy on it to Scotland's capital city! I'm sort of the cat guy, lesson gal. Socks and sandals, probably shorts, out in rain. I hate him. I'm basically a boy, but with hair. Tom, but you mean a tomboy? Yeah, You're not a boy. You know? <laughs> I would usually go for practicality over looking cool. That's why I wear my socks inside out. You never see my socks anyway. It's more comfortable with them inside out. I don't think those are inside out. School 
students are back. See how they're all in secondary school. I'm not your dude, Darwin. You call me sir. It's a big deal, full of challenges. <laughs> Adventures. Why are you? Castle, but at least have one 